What's going on guys? God bless you, Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are working on this 2018 uh, Chevrolet Z71. Shout out to uh, Finn. Shout out to Finn's Trucking. Uh, they got me this very cool hat. Check it out. It literally matches what I'm wearing today. Blue and orange. Uh, so shout out to them. We are uh, we're going to be doing an interior detail. This truck definitely needs some love. We have a little bit of pet hair. We have a little bit of dust. Uh, it's kind of like the work truck. He takes it with him and everywhere. Uh, so we're going to be doing just a thorough interior detail, extraction on the seats and all of that. Uh, but today's video, guys, is really, um, I have had a lot of people ask me lately, like, hey, how is the For Real Pro holding up? We're gonna be talking about the for real. We're gonna be talking about uh, a couple things on this truck that might help you in the future. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's get started. All right, so for this step, uh, it's very crucial for me to always, always blow the interior. I want to drill brush this whole interior and um, pretty much make sure that I get all the buildup lifted. This thing was so dusty. I should have wore my mask. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, but when working with a vehicle such as these, like construction trucks and stuff like that, where they see a lot of dust, Blowing is going to be your best friend. I know a lot of people say that it doesn't make sense, but it does because uh, it'll help eliminate a lot of the buildup when you're doing the extraction. A lot of times if you don't do these steps when you extract and let's just say you come back and look at this car, you'll see like buildup on the top of like the pores of like inside of those fibers. So that is why I do this route. For this next process, I'm using the Aqua Pro steamer. Uh, we're using PNS uh, Interior Express Cleaner. Uh, in the video, you're gonna hear me say four to one. It's diluted ten to one. I don't know why I kept saying four to one today, so I do apologize. But I'm using PNS Express Interior Cleaner ten to one. Um, again, the beauty of PNS Express is that it can be diluted a lot, and you're gonna get some amazing results with very little product. We pretty much have this whole interior kind of cleaned out. All I have left is pretty much like this door right here, guys. Um, but I wanted to bring something to your attention. When you're working with Chevy, it could be a Tahoe, it could be uh, Lexus tends to have that issue right in this area here. I have not cleaned this door, but you can see this already. And if you're a detailer and maybe you've never encountered this, be ready for this little section right here anything it could be water really anything you use right in this area here it will shed once you hit your product um, this tends to shed and that's kind of what you're seeing here is maybe it rained or maybe someone cleaned it prior um, and they sprayed something here right how to fix that issue is one you have to spray this heavily and pretty much what it'll do is the product will start like removing this top layer of the material in a way <laughs> But you can do it as, I usually do it as spraying this heavily and then I'll come with the brush and just agitate everything really, really good. And then you'll start noticing um, it, it all blends like right back in, right? Uh, using air helps uh, because with the hair, air, you're going to be drying this section here to where you won't have this uh, little area here. A lot of these Chevys have this issue. Um, I don't know if it's just 
the material isn't that well uh, but every Chevy you touch in this area here if they have this like this style of door um, or even if they have this little square right here you'll see that a lot with Chevy products so what I'm using here is PNS literally like diluted extremely and as you see it's literally like four to one but you can already see the material kind of start changing color don't panic all right so we've gone ahead and completely did this little section here and there you go before there was that little that big stain right here and now it's gone don't panic guys it's very normal with this material with this brand of vehicle they all have this issue even if you hit it with water it'll stain it right but don't panic it's definitely fixable just the way i did it using pns literally four to one um and just let your brush do the work your brush is going to be removing a lot of that uh, shedding that creates um, and then you just let it air out and you're back to normal and quick update guys for those asking me about uh, the for real the for real pro 2 right uh, their newest version um, my honest thoughts on it this is car number this should be number 40 I believe uh, and I gotta say the teeth have not broken off the teeth are all intact obviously you can already see that I've been using this thing up but in all fairness this thing has hold it up way better than the first one um, so this is car number 40 on the <laughs> on the for real pro 2 I've definitely uh, enjoyed this one I kind of use it differently now the way I'm using this one um, it's not just for pets right so what I'm doing first is I'm coming with my orange crevice nozzle that you guys see me use a lot right so I'll use this one first uh, and then I will come back with the for real pro and I will pretty much um, like it's already vacuumed uh, but with this I feel like it just gives me a little better of cleaning if that makes sense uh, so whether it has pet hair or no pet hair I've actually enjoyed using this for any <laughs> any for for all um, all my details uh, and I feel like it gives me just that more crisp finish on the carpet if that makes sense but uh, usually I come with this one first and then I'm coming back with the for real uh, to just clean up the paint nice uh, clean up the paint clean up the carpet really really well uh, and it just leaves a more it looks like more fresh if that makes sense so um, it's working really really solid the for real pro 2 is definitely working all right now we've completed the whole interior is all cleaned out plastics all of that is steam cleaned really well uh, the last phase of this project is going to be uh, cleaning the carpet and the seats we're working with cloth uh, so today we're going to be using flex bio break um, this one i recently purchased when um, a ramsco dallas had a sale um, so after talking to uh, the gentleman uh, in there uh, about the products he said that bio break uh, is a better um, option for us uh, mobile detailers since we're dealing with a lot of uh, like milks <coughs> like milk stains uh, spills and stuff like that he said bio break is a better option for us mobile detailers uh, because this one what it has it has enzymes in it uh, so it's way way better uh, on this one um, but this one is pretty much contains a balance of grease cutting uh, ingredients um, so this is going to work really well obviously like for heavy duty vehicles uh, for staining it does really well uh, it smells really good the color on this one is bluish um, so very very different uh, from what i've used obviously flex citrus all these years uh, but recently switched over to flex bio break so far i'm enjoying it um, so if you've never tried bio break i will honestly say it's a better option for us mobile detailers than citrus is more for like residential or like commercial like those other like working at apartments because those are heavily heavily trafficked um, but i still have the whole line now um, but i've really enjoyed using bio I think when working on details or you know the the beauty of detailing is learning learning and mastering your craft um, if there's a tip I could give any detailer is start on interiors um, learn learn this craft right here and of course 
I know everybody wants to get to coding, everybody wants to get to correction, nobody wants to do the dirty work anymore from, from what I see. Um, but learn, learn this craft um, because it's gonna pay you well. You know, the better you learn your craft, the better you are a all around detailer, the better the pay is gonna be in my opinion. Um, we're using the Merrill X uh, Industry 3000 um, pump sprayer I think this is going like on three years old um, works really really well but which actually you can now get I think 10% off of these um, when you use my code Serrano sauce uh, I'll be posting a link to luxury microfiber um, if you want to get some Merrill X sprayers I believe you can get 10% off on them uh, try the discount code serrano sauce i'll have it in the description um, which i think is really cool so shout out to uh, luxury microfiber for providing me uh, this discount code for you guys and obviously they sell drying towels they sell polishing towels um, and merrill x products which i think are the best better than ik trash foamers i mean uh, the ik sprayers or the ik foamers um, but I, I don't i don't know i just think Merrill X is by far superior over IK. Obviously, yeah, they have the battery operated um, big one, which I think that's the only one that actually works decent. Um, but um, when it comes to detailing, guys, especially if you're new, learn the craft. Really learn this area here because it's going to pay you well. A vehicle in this condition, and I'm going to keep it very honest with you guys, this car was in very rough shape. Um, obviously, once we lifted the carpet, um, it wasn't dirty because they have these heavy duty mats so shout out to the customers um, who care for their cars and they had those heavy duty mats um, to where the carpet looked really nice um, but on any given day a truck this size this condition both interior or exterior um, this one would have ran around 450 to 500 dollars for this interior um, this month of May, I put out a sale for all my returning customers. Um, if you've had my services, then you were gonna get a heck of a deal. So they got all this interior and exterior wash for $200. So that's the beauty of the customers that follow me. And it's just a way of me saying thank you for all their support throughout these years. Um, I've known this family for almost four years or five years, I think. And whenever it count, whenever it's needed, uh, I'm here to service them. So thank you, shout out to Finn. Uh, Patrick for always supporting my business from the get-go so they were a referral when we first started when I first started and since then I've been able to earn their trust throughout the year so uh, let's finish doing the pre-spray and then we're gonna get to the extraction alrighty guys this project is finally done overall it took me about I think three and a half hours total from beginning to end uh, this thing it wasn't in a bad shape but it kind of was it's like <laughs> like it didn't look dirty but it was dirty a uh, huge shout out again for having these um, heavy duty mats that helped a lot on the carpet the seeds definitely needed a deep clean um, there was a lot of buildup in them uh, obviously the doors were definitely um, really dusty really dirty a lot of buildup the speakers were full of dust all that came out pretty pretty well um, but overall the vehicle came out really well again update with the for real pro 2 i love it we're on uh, number 40 as far as using it for, uh, car number 40 uh, and it's doing really really well right um, but when working with um, dusty vehicles guys um, the key to I guess success on these types of vehicles is <sighs> drill brushing right drill brushing the carpet blowing it getting all that stuff off of the fiber so that when you come and extract it you're gonna get the maximum um, pretty much like uh, results right uh, drill brushing is key blowing is key vacuuming is key as well right uh, take your time with these these are a little bit of frustrating at times because it's like after you clean it you'll see drips of dirt coming down right of buildup uh, so just have patience with these but overall it came out really really well you will see i will want to point out there's some areas on the paint where <clears throat> This car or this truck is clean already. Unfortunately, there is a lot of staining you're gonna see on this video and hopefully you guys can see it. Even though it's clean already, there is still a lot of staining on here. So the only way to really fix that issue is we'd have to do a paint correction. Um, and I don't think a, 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 
a all-in-one is going to do the job on something like this it's more of a we have to cut and polish so a two-step would be the route to clean this paint up get the gloss out remove all this staining that it has obviously <laughs> he works in a dirt road so there's all sorts of like uh, minerals in the water when it rains it gets all on the paint right um the paint is flat there's like no protection on there so again that's why a lot of this stuff happens when your paint isn't protected all this buildup is just gonna get stuck on the paint and therefore you can't remove it but that is minimal really uh, it came out really well the wheels came out really really well um, and uh, let me show you this area here where I showed you guys all the that that one spot where it was like stained let me show you how it looks now <laughs> it looks really really well uh, that pretty much all went away to where you know it looks like it's never been there so using the right products knowing exactly what you're doing and knowing that um, you can fix it is definitely a plus a lot of people will panic a lot of the times because they see that and they think they damage the customer's vehicle um but in reality it's not damaged it's just uh the this this material just stains really easily anything that's chevy uh will stain um so i remember i saw that once the first time i was so scared uh but then i kind of was like let me think it through and I ended up fixing the problem so overall guys i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of this content it was really fun working on this truck it's now time to head home because it is hot as always guys thank you so much for watching today's video guys god bless you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next one